Hey y'all, so what should you bring for shore excursions? It's, this is specifically the Caribbean. Alaska is a whole nother thing. So in the Caribbean, I would say you don't need a beach towel. I would say bring one from the ship, but not bring one from home. There, unless you're specific on your type of towel or you just really like yours, to me it's not worth packing in my opinion. Just bring the ship one, just make sure you bring it back. And I would normally bring it back to your room. That way your room steward knows that you still have it. Cause sometimes they get like lost in the, in the shuffle and you don't wanna get accidentally charged for a beach towel, especially if you didn't actually take it. So the next thing is if you're going snorkeling, do you bring snorkel gear? Now if the excursion is billed as a snorkel excursion, they will have snorkel gear. Now it depends on you if that is what you want to use. I prefer the full face snorkel gear. To me, I get less uh, salt water in my eyes. So that's just what I prefer. But if you don't prefer that, then you can definitely use theirs. I just think the masks ones, they don't just, they just don't seal as well for some reason. Now it could just be because I haven't had the right one. I didn't tighten it right, whatever, but I love my full face snorkel gear. There are some that store better than others. I have one that you have to actually like pop the top, like the air thing off of the back. And it's not the easiest to get on and off. Now I got some new ones over the summer that have a little like hook thing that puts it, uh, that locks it in place. And then you do like flip it and then it like lays down. So there's no actually like taking it apart and fighting to get it off. But I do prefer my full face snorkel gear. Now what else do you need? Normally some cash would be useful. Make sure you bring your ID. If for anyone 16 and over off the ship, a lot of times they have to check it before you get back on the ship. Not It's not the ship that checks your ID. The ship just checks your card because they have your face on file. It is the port. So it depends on the port if you actually have to show it. I would say about 60 to 75% of the time I've had to show it. So just have it with you. Another thing that you might need is cash. Most Caribbean ports, especially if they welcome cruise people regularly, they just take cash. They just take US dollars. I don't personally like using my credit card and debit card because there might be foreign transaction fees. You might not know the the way that the money tra like exchange rate is from US to whatever country you're in. Now that's just a personal thing, but I have used my card. I've never had any issues with it being like stolen or something. Sometimes if you, got, if you forget to tell your card company that you're traveling, they might decline it and lock your card because they think someone stole it. Just, you know, let you know. Sunscreen, don't forget sunscreen. I don't care what your excursion is, unless you're cave tubing, make sure you bring sunscreen. I made the ex and make sure you bring sunscreen that you've used before. I made the mistake of taking some new stuff that we had gotten that someone else didn't like. And obviously that should have been a sign. But our little girl pretty much turned into a lobster. We put sunscreen on her and I think there was something in the sunscreen that reacted with her skin that then gave her like the worst sunburn that she's ever had. And it wasn't bad enough where she needed to go to the doctor. She just looks like a lobster. Her skin turned so red. And it could have just been like something with the sun and the sunscreen and her skin just not reacting well. But do not bring something that you haven't ever used before. Go have a day at the beach a month before your cruise. Go, you know, do a bunch of yard work outside one day. You know, go for a walk for a few hours. The sun wherever you live is probably not going to be as intense as where um, you are going in the Caribbean, but at least you'll know how your sun, how your skin reacts to that sunscreen. Now I always bring a bag, like a bog bag, a beach bag, a backpack. You might want to bring a change of clothes if you're going to get wet. Now something that a lot of people I have seen um, talking about online is safes. They have a lot of safes. I have one that has like a wire, a metal wire that loops and you can loop it around like the chair leg of a, of a like a beach chair. You can wrap it around a tree, like a tree branch, whatever. If you want to do that, then great. 
I would not bring anything of great value with you. Normally my phone is the greatest like value thing I have and I always have it on like a waterproof thing around my neck. But that's just me. I would not keep a lot of cash on you. You need, I know you need cash, but that's where if you want, you can use the locking thing. Put your code in. Don't ever leave it on like the four zeros or five zeros or whatever it comes with. Make sure you change it to something that you know. And then when you put your stuff in, make sure you spin it to where it's not just like, oh, reopen it. I forgot my stuff. But those are some things that you normally need. Um, if you're going in the water, some sort of water shoes. Now they have water shoes with a sole. They have water shoes without a sole. They have slip on water shoes. They have like croc style water shoes. They have hiking sandals, really like hiking sandals, especially if you're doing like cave tubing or something like that, because it protects the bottom of your foot and it's on with enough straps to keep it tight to your foot. So those are just my things that I bring if I'm doing any kind of water excursion. If you're going to do anything like historical, make sure you have comfy shoes. You're going to be walking a lot. If you go see some ruins, if you go see anything like that, you can always bring water shoes if your excursion includes anything water related. But make sure you have comfy shoes. You don't want to have, you don't want to not enjoy something just because you brought the wrong shoes. Um, if you wear contacts, I would say bring an extra pair of contacts. Hopefully you don't need them. But... You know, those are some tips for what to bring on shore excursions.